Okay, I got surprised with an email from an absolutely lovely Indian company that has started making some notebooks. And they reached out to me and said, would you be open to reviewing one of our notebooks? And I was like, I love reviewing notebooks. Yes, send me a notebook. And they sent me these awesome notebooks. I'm going to review them today in detail, um, but I wanted to tell you a little bit more about them. So it's from a company called The Lovely Store and they are based in India and they have started creating 120 GSM dot grid notebooks. Um, they come with like a pre-printed uh, dot side and as I say, we'll go into a little bit more detail next. But if you are looking for an alternative, to your usual 160 GSM notebooks, or you're getting a little tired of seeing the same 160 GSM notebooks everywhere on the internet, this is your opportunity to try something different. Um, personally, just as a spoiler alert, personally, I actually kind of like that it's got a pre-printed to-do list page because I already make one in my bullet journal. So, <laughs> That's going to be a little bit helpful for um, note taking and journaling. I think if I'm going to give it one downside, though, I'm going to say that there isn't enough uh, bullet dot grid pages. Um, and it's essentially one dot grid and one pre-printed page. But that may work for someone that's kind of getting started or someone that is um, kind of new to journaling and is trying to transition from the usual trans the usual to do list now into bullet journaling, which can be feel really overwhelming. And you may have you know seen a couple of videos that I've done in the past that kind of talks about that. So really excited to kind of dive into reviewing this guy, and let's talk about all of its cool features. I also got the daily planner with it as well. Um, that's something, you know, that could help uh, you with the stuff that you do. Um, it could be just a different or alternative way for you to do planning, but I'll go through the, the flip through and show you the different types of paper that is used and the pen tests that I did on that particular notebook as well. So let's get started. Well, this was annoyingly opened by customs, as you can see, and they resealed the box together. But what is inside, I'm quite excited about. This is a brand new notebook um, company and notebook brand, and they asked me to have a wee look at um, their notebooks. So I was really excited to receive their package in the post, which customs sealed really well. And on opening, how cute is this little covering for these notebooks? They come in a little satchel, which is really sweet. Um, the one is in bubble wrap. I'm assuming they took one out of the bubble wrap to be able to um, inspect it at customs. Totally normal. But these little pouches are so adorable. And if you have a look at the top here, they have a little Velcro closure. Okay, the first thing we're going to have a little look at is the daily planner. And this has kind of got like a really fun velvety cover. It has a smooth cloth printed cover. And on the other one, it's got some kind of matte foil. It's got wellness trackers, note sections, to-do list, meal trackers, weekly habit trackers. And what's really cool is right on the back page, is they've got a sticker sheet now they've got this really fun pattern all the way around that matches the front cover they've got a little pen loop um, as well which is really cool they've got elastic closure and these stickers are so cool that they're inside the notebook there's some pages for notes as well and you can see there's tons of pages to get you through your year or however long it takes you to fill up your notebook which is pretty cool the paper is 100 gsm and it's bright white paper which is really cool it's in an a5 size which i really like as well and it comes with a back uh, pocket a gusseted back pocket for you to pop anything in that you need now let's get straight into our pen testing 
As always, I like to use some juicy pens to pen test paper with. And because this is 100 GSM paper, I'm expecting it to bleed through quite a bit. So we're going to start with the juiciest one, which is the Eco line. And we're just going to start and go through and write all of those with all of those down. I'm just going to use simple words. And then I'm going to go through and add some actual black pens, um, just fine liners and, you know, pens we would usually see. So secure Macrons. Um, and potentially some ballpoint pens as well. Now for the big reveal, we're going to slowly turn the page over and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see exactly what it looks like on the other side. Okay, you can see that there is some bleed through and some ghosting, um, definitely with the juicier pens, but overall it seems pretty good. Um, it looks like it would be great for a daily use. Um, you can definitely see where the squishier pens have come through and you can see where the fine liners or alcohol based markers have gone through. Obviously they bleed through everything, so we're not <laughs> too surprised with that. Um, but yeah, you can absolutely see that it's pretty thick paper we're going to give it a go with watercolor right now and see how watercolor fares on the paper too all right I'm just using two basic colors I'm using blue and I'm going to use just a nice basic um, green I think it will swell with that and see if any of the paper pulls I'm zoom in again so that you can see up close what we're looking at um, you can see there's very little pilling and when we turn the page there's definitely some warping and there's ghosting, but there isn't a huge amount of bleed through on the pages. Um, I think with a little bit of use that the book would become quite fat after a while, but I think it's a great opportunity for someone trying to kind of get started with tracking habits and making sure that they're keeping up to date with what they need. So I think overall it's a pretty good um, planner for anyone. I am so excited to show you the kind of generator that I've created. Um, it's super cool. You just have to kind of put in the number and it auto generates a theme for the month because I know a lot of people struggle with the theme and that can be really overwhelming. So I've put together a really cool auto generator that you can download in the link below. So I can't wait to see what you create next month. Wanting to get started in kind of a planning space. Right, the next notebook we're going to look at is their dot grid notebook. And I'm pretty excited. It's got really tactile cover. You can see that it's embossed and it's got some glitter on it. It's really cute and I love the sides. The one thing that this one doesn't have is it doesn't have a pen loop and it doesn't have a back pouch. But it does have 120 GSM paper. It's got the usual cover page. And then every single page has got the dots. And then it has the um, kind of to-do list page on the side. So it's not a traditional dot planner or dot grid notebook. It's kind of a bit of a hybrid of both. Again, we're going to pen test this one because the paper is a little bit thicker. So we can see a little bit of a difference between this and the daily planner. And we're going to hop straight to the back to be able to see that. So same pen. I'm starting off. You can see I'm just comparing the two here. Um, the one's got the back pocket and the elastic closure, whereas this one does not. I'm starting off with the Chiron markers, the Eco lines, the Tombows, and making sure that we're using those super juicy pens and then our standard Securas. Um, some Kelly Creates as well. A fountain pen to see if it's fountain pen friendly. And then the big reveal. Let's zoom in to make sure we're getting up close. There is some bleed through on the juicier pens and definitely some ghosting when we turn the page you can see on those juicy pens they definitely are bleeding through on this paper um, that's a bit frustrating but that's okay it's to be expected and fountain pen friendly not so much the fountain pen feathers a little bit um, so I'd say not the most fountain pen friendly paper but let's give it a go with watercolor and see how that fares all right, I'm using blue and green again, and I'm not using too much water as usual with notebooks. And if we zoom in, there's a little bit of pilling, but it's pretty good overall. I actually quite like the water color on this particular paper. It's quite smooth. And if we turn it over, we're going to zoom in to make sure we can turn that over for you. And you can see the, the feathering here on the uh, fountain pen ink as well. So let's carefully and slowly turn it over so you can see where the watercolor is. Very, oh, bit blurry. 
okay there we go that's a bit better um you can see that there's definitely some warping and some ghosting uh, coming through and that ghosting is really prevalent and the bleed through is really prevalent with those juicier pens but that's pretty much to be expected again this is a really interesting notebook and if you're looking for something that's a little bit of a hybrid between a dot grid and maybe a traditional to-do list this is something that could be really useful for you and could be really helpful oops a little bit smudgy still for the fountain pen whoopsies okay thank you so much for joining and kind of going through if you have any additional questions about the notebook pop them in the comments below and i'm more than happy to go through those with you if you have any comments as well i'm really keen to hear what your thoughts are on this particular notebook and if it's something that you would like to use um, and you can go check them uh, the lovely store out in the links below and go give them a like and a follow because they totally deserve it um, really lovely to work with and it was really Really lovely doing this review for you so if you want to see more reviews please feel free to join and subscribe and join me over on instagram where i spend most of my time and i'll see you next time